Hey, everybody, you're listening to the Inspirational Power Hour. Guys, listen, I'm so very excited to share with you guys our next guest. This is an amazing, powerful, anointed pastor in the, uh, well, in the Atlanta area. And uh, he's here today to talk with us about his brand new book entitled Crippled Kings. Guys, I'm talking about none other than Pastor Marquise Boone. Hey, Pastor Boone, how you doing? I am doing great. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. Thank you, Pastor Boone. We truly appreciate you taking out time and sharing with our listeners today. Thank you. Absolutely. You know, Pastor Boone, I've actually watched you from afar, and I truly believe that you are among this generation's uh, new leaders in the body of Christ, and God has placed you to usher us. I believe into a new season. And so I've, I've watched you from afar wow. along with so many others. And so when I saw that you had released the book, I said, I have to get him to come on and to talk about this book and to share this with our listeners. So totally appreciate that. So, you know, just know that people are watching. We see the work that you're doing from afar. Wow. I praise God for that. That's uh, a lot of, a lot of shoes to fill, but I'm, 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 I'm very excited about stepping into these shoes to be one of the next generation leaders. So Pastor Boone, tell our listeners, how you got started in ministry, and uh, tell us about your journey to where you are now. Definitely. Um, I got started in ministry in um, Baltimore, Maryland at the age of about 13 years old, and I uh, got licensed at 14 and been preaching since I was 14 years old. Um, end up serving that church in Baltimore until uh, I graduated from high school at 16 and went off to Bible College at World Harvest Bible College in Columbus, Ohio, and kind of just uh, stayed there and, and got the uh, tools that was necessary to continue to push me forward in ministry and end up starting a church uh, fast forward uh, at the age of 20, 25 and been pastor in Fresh Start Church for four years now and uh, God has just took and taken 18 people and blew it up to over 800. Wow. You know, Pastor Boone, I believe that every time God uh, anoints and calls and places a pastor, that it's for a, a specific purpose. What is the mantle that God has on your heart and on your ministry? Well, definitely. I think uh, the mantle for our church is to merge uh, faith with uh, the arts, the performing arts. Um, I believe that is a part of our goal here at, at First Star Church to uh, re really bring people back to the knowledge of who Jesus Christ is uh, and still understand that they can operate in their gifts and talents and not have to choose one. I think for so many years, uh, churches have uh, tried to ostracize people who are, are different and unique and gifted to do certain things, but they only can do it in the church. And then what we end up doing is raising a group of believers who are ministering to each other and never take their gift out into the world. And so it's our job to, you know, revive people back and bring them back to consciousness in Christ, whether they've been saved before or whether they never experienced God. So here at our church, 42% of our church are new converts. This is their first time ever joining the church, ever giving their life to Christ. And we're teaching them how to love God and still utilize their gifts and talents for the kingdom of God. All right, Pastor Boone. So let's talk about this new book, Crippled Kings. So without giving all of it away, without giving away too much, we definitely want our listeners to go and buy this book. But tell our listeners what Crippled Kings is all about. So basically, Cripple Kings um, is basically a story that takes you into the minds of one of the fascinating creatures on the earth, and that are men. That's men. Uh, many times, uh, we don't understand how men operate, why they don't communicate, what they're thinking, what's going on in their mind. And the reason why the book is called Cripple Kings is because I believe that all men are born with the right to be a king. I believe God birthed all of us to be kings in our own right, whether that's in our career, whether that's in our homes, whether that's in our professions or whatever but we're all born to be kings but through the process of time and through the growth process every man uh, incurs some kind of damage that injures them and leaves them crippled whether it's mentally uh, whether it's physically whether it's emotionally whether it's spiritually we've all been damaged through the growth process that has left us damaged or left, left us crippled in some form and fashion and so the book Crippled Kings uh, it takes you from the story of Mephibosheth that is found in the book of Kings and, and, it, and it takes you through the story of King uh, Mephibosheth and it's explores the mind of men in 2014 in this in this today's setting on how they think how they operate and what is necessary for them to be healed so they don't lo no longer have to rule with a limp and so in the book you'll find so many different stories that you may have experienced or see yourself in and, and it's my goal to usher uh, uh, an answer to help them become healed so that we no longer have to raise crippled kings in this next season of our lives 
So, Pastor Boone, what was the inspiration and uh, why did you feel the need to write this book? Well, you know, and, you know, they'll hear here in the first, you know, from the first time, from my mouth here on the first time me saying this, but this book is loosely based on um, real, real life facts uh, of what I've experienced as being a spiritual advisor, dealing with um, very uh, well-known people in the industry, um, from, from artists to actual uh, pastors and things of that nature that I have actually advised and, and sat down and counseled, and just listening to the stories and uh, the, the crippleness of some of our most powerful and influential people in the world, I really saw that this was a need that people who are men that are ruling and have power and have clout, they really are at a place that they're stuck and they really just need to be healed. And I said to myself, if this is a small percentage of people who are going through this, I can only imagine how many other men that are walking around dealing with their, their limp with a quiet spirit, not vocal, vocalizing and not talking about it. And so I felt it was a need to really, you know, um, stop the silence and really begin to open up and start the conversation so that these men can become healed and they can no longer have to rule with limps. So Pastor Bone, as a woman, do you think that this is a book uh, that will be beneficial for other women to read? Yes. Okay, so apart from uh, purchasing the book and blessing someone else with it and, you know, a man in your life, but Pastor Boone, tell women out there what they can hope to find from this book, from Crippled Kings. Yes, I think, um, you know, I just came out of a five-week series. I did a five-week series here at our church. Um, and, you know, most churches during the summertime, their, 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 their attendance goes down. And once I started this series, Crippled Kings, I mean, our attendance has spiked, and even the women. The women uh, have been coming. They've been receiving. They've been coming with their husbands, with their sons, with their cousins. I mean, it's just been, it's like a movement because the book not only ministers to the men and helps the men open up to communicate, but it also gives the women a glimpse, an insight glimpse on some conversations that a man would never have with the woman. Uh, and so, you know, here, the last week of the, uh, the series, what I did was a thing called Man Talk. And so a lot of times um, the women will say they're in relationship with these kings and they say, you know, my man just won't communicate. So the conversation started with I had a panel and it was men and women were able to ask questions that they always wanted to ask a man and the man had to talk. He had to answer it. And so it's definitely beneficial for the woman because you're going to get a glimpse into the conversations that men probably would never have and you'll be able to hear their story, the story behind the story. Uh, I think a lot of times women do not know the context of their king. So what they end up doing is putting a context on their king and then they don't wow. understand why their king cannot meet the need that they have because their context doesn't allow them to meet that need you know and so once we re realize the context of our king then we can go from there so if my king's context is that he cannot um communicate then i won't be mad at him when he doesn't communicate the way i expect him to communicate then i'll begin to learn his context and then i'll begin to adjust and help him um learn how to communicate the way i need him to communicate and not be upset at him and so that's the, the, that's more so what the woman's going to find in this book and they, they, they really walk away with some knowledge from it again everybody we're talking to pastor marquise boone from duluth georgia is that right pastor boone ma'am duluth georgia all right guys we're talking to pastor marquise boone about his new book crippled kings make sure that you pick up a copy and uh share a copy with somebody else as well uh, pastor boone before we let you go can you tell all of our listeners how they can connect with you and keep up with your ministry Hey, uh, you can connect with me anywhere on social media, uh, Facebook, you can find me at Marquis Spoon, uh, or you can just search for my name and you'll find me there. Um, all of my followers are called Firestarters, so come on over and join the flame. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Boone M, that's B-O-O-N-E and the letter M. And I'm also the same on Instagram. So wherever you are on social media, I'm looking forward to talking to you and connecting with you. So follow me on uh, all social media platforms and you can get the book wherever books are sold. Barn and Nobles, Amazon. Amazon right now is running a special. I believe they have the, 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 the lowest that any other person is carrying right now. Uh, last week, uh, we were number 11 on the Amazon bestseller. So you can get it on Amazon. You can get it on your Kindle. You can get it at your brick and mortars. Wherever you like to buy books at, you can, buy, you can find it there. All right, Pastor Boone, thank you so much for being with us today. We truly appreciate it. Last thing before we let you go, if you could say anything to a young man somewhere that's struggling with something, what would you say to that young man? I would definitely say to that young man, never allow what was out of your control to control who you are and what you become. If you're grasped a hold of what happened, allow it to be what it was, but ne never allow it to dictate who you are today. You can get over your limp and you can be healed in your crippleness.